wanted to do a initial thoughts and demonstration of this product right here. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Instant Hair Refresh for Dark Hair. So there is the bottle right here, and this says that it is the it has improved color. Now I assume. Wait, let's see. No. Batiste is um, a European brand, well, it's a UK brand um, because of the way that they spelt color. They spelt it with a U, so I figured it was probably from the UK, and I was right because it says that it's, um, you know, distributed by, from the UK back here. So my hair is dirty. Um, I think I'm on day three of not washing my hair because I've been lazy um and sometimes it just gets like that like i've been like busy and um so yeah so as you can see like my hair is like flat it's pretty lifeless um when i first uh blow dried it i did curl it and now the curls are gone it's just kind of like blah whatever which is fine but i had my hair in a ponytail all day today because i really just didn't want to deal with it and then i went to ulta and i picked up a few things um i'm not gonna do like a haul or anything because it's just basic stuff like shampoo conditioner and then um, i hopped upon this so i figured hmm, i'll try it so I got this from Ulta, like I said, it was $8.99 for the one that has color, and there's also one for like light and blonde hair. And there's also like a regular one, I believe, that has no color, So and that one was a dollar cheaper. So you can sort of gauge which one you think is best for you. I have not seen a ton of reviews um, using dry shampoo with people who have hair that's similar to mine, like curly hair, ethnic hair. Um, usually like the people that I see use dry shampoos are people with just straight hair, just regular hair. And so dry shampoo for some of those people work really, really well, but I don't really know how well it's gonna work for somebody with my type of hair. So I figured somebody's gotta review it, so let's just try it. Um, okay, so I got the dark hair one, obviously, because I have dark hair, but for the people who I have watched reviews on, um, if they have dark hair, they say that some of the other brands, not necessarily this brand, sorry, but some of the, what's my hair doing? Oh, jeez. Some of the other brands um, have, like, they, it leaves, like, a powdery finish on their hair, so obviously that's not what we want. I don't want to walk around with, like, white powdery stuff on my hair, so that's why I opted for the dark version. Um, so I hope that this works out. Because if it does, then that'll be great. Then I can sort of freshen my hair in between washes, which is what dry shampoo is supposed to do. But if it doesn't work, then I don't know. I guess I'll just take it back. I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't know anybody that I would give this to if it doesn't work. Like, I don't want to give them something that doesn't work, you know? So, yeah. Um... Oh, I wanted to say that they also had one for curly hair. I don't think it was this brand, but another brand, like when I was looking at the dry shampoo, there were a few different brands there. And they had one for um, curly hair. I didn't get that one because I figured that I probably wouldn't use dry shampoo on my hair when my hair is curly. I probably would only use dry shampoo at when I blow my hair out because that's sort of when I want to prolong the washing, you know, since I went through all that trouble to blow dry it and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to read the instructions real quick. It says to shake vigorously before use, keeping nozzle about 30 centimeters from hair, spray into roots, massage through with fingertips, brush and style. Great. Color can be easily removed from clothing with a little soap and water. Okay, so the color can stain your clothes. That's not good news. So if you're going to use this, you may not want to be wearing what you plan on wearing for the rest of the day, just like, just in case it stains. Um, I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the night. I'll probably just edit this video or whatever. So um, I'm not too concerned about that for right now. But it also has like pictures. 30 centimeters. I don't really know how far 30 centimeters is, but... That's what it is according to the picture, and that's step one, and then you massage, step two, and then you style and your hair looks awesome. So it says one minute, like there's like a little one minute thing. So after one minute, I guess your hair is supposed to look amazing. All right, so I'm gonna shake it vigorously. I wonder how long vigorously is. Okay, and then here I have just a piece of white, um, tissue paper, toilet paper, um, and I want to spray it on here to see like what the actual color looks like. So I'm gonna spray it on right now. I wanna see if the color is actually dark or whatever, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, so it is dark. So that would, that looks like, oh, it smells good. It smells good, it's like powdery fresh. Hmm. Okay, so that's promising, the color is dark. So it looks like it will go onto my roots dark and not with a powdery finish. Okay, so I'm supposed to spray into my roots. 
Okay, I don't really know how to do this, but uh, let's see. I'm just gonna be looking at the mirror right here, if you're curious. It smells good, I like that. I also don't really know how much to put in. Like, do I spray a lot? Do I spray a little? Like, how much do I spray? I'm so confused. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm not really being too precise with trying to find the, you know, part it evenly just because, I mean, I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but. Okay, so I sprayed it down the middle so that you can sort of see what that looks like. So it is dark and it even makes like your scalp darker. So now, So it's kind of cold. It's like a really refreshing, cold blast of air. Does my hair feel less greasy? I'm trying to figure it out. I will say that it does sort of make your hair feel fresher because it's cold. Like it's a cold blast of air that's going onto your scalp. So I would say that it makes it feel fresher. Um, when I'm feeling my fingers, it does feel a little like powder, but not like a ton of powder. Um, so I've, you know, rubbed it into my scalp and you can see like it's dissolved. And I will say, yes, it does add a little bit of, you know, life and volume back into my hair. Um, so my hair, my scalp does feel less dirty. Like it feels less greasy, I would say. It feel, but I'm, I'm sort of still feeling the powder effect. A little but not a ton so it is like you know I can like pump it up a little bit more as you can see like it does give it a little bit more bounce so I'm happy with that okay I think overall it, it did what it said it would do which is to you know make my scalp feel fresher and it made my scalp feel fresher um, it doesn't leave a white cast as you can see because it is the color dark and I think that it does give it a little, it says that it's a, a quick burst revitalizes hair and removes any excess grease. I feel like it removed excess grease and hair feels gorgeously clean. I don't know if it feels gorgeously clean, like I just stepped out of the shower, kind of clean, but it feels cleaner, I will say. And fresh with added body and texture. Does it add body? I will say yeah, it does add body to my hair. Like it's not as lifeless as it, as it gets, which my hair does get because, you know, after a couple days of not washing your hair, it just, the oil from your scalp just sort of weighs it down. Does it give it texture? I mean, I don't know if it gave it like any texture. I think that my hair feels pretty much the same as it did before, just less greasy, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this um, dry shampoo. Have you guys tried dry shampoo? It does leave like the darkness on the little nozzle thing, but I think that I will keep it because, uh, yeah, for days such as today where I really don't feel like washing my hair and I'm on like day three and I probably need to wash my hair, but I'm just too lazy. Um, I think that this is really great. You know what else I think it'll be really great for? Like after the gym. I think after I go to the gym, um, like if I have somewhere to go right after, cause sometimes I do that. Like I go to the gym and then after I go to the gym, I do shower, but I just like shower my body cause I don't have time to like wash my hair. So I think that after the gym, I think that this will probably be a great product to use, uh, just to like freshen your hair and liven it up, you know, from like sweat and oil and all that stuff. I know that sounds like really gross, but if you have somewhere to go right after the gym and you can't get, to, you can't like wash your hair immediately after, then I think that this would be a good product. So I'll probably throw this product into my gym bag. Um, to keep it in there for times where I have to freshen up. And it smells good. It smells powdery. It smells like powdery fresh. I don't think the smell is overpowering to where you're like, oh gosh, that's like a really gross powder smell. I think that the powder smell is like really, really, like it's good. It's fresh. It's what you sort of want it to smell like when it's livening up. So um, overall, I'm happy with this product and I think I would recommend it um, for people with hair like mine. If you have hair similar to mine, that's you know, just kind of thick and long and dark and ethnic and maybe curly. I don't know if I'll use this when I have curly hair, but I might. So it's good to have. Overall, I am 
pretty happy with the $8.99 purchase. Oh, and I did get it 20% off. I forgot to mention that. So it was $8.99. There's always those coupons that Ulta has, either 20% off, 15% off, or the $3.50 off of $10. So look out for that if you want to go pick this up. I don't know where else they sell this, um, except for Ulta. Maybe you can find it somewhere online if you don't have an Ulta near you. Or maybe they sell it at Target. Who knows? I feel like Target sells everything. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for this product review. So if you guys have tried this particular brand, then let me know down below how much you like it or if you don't like it at all. And if you have another recommendation for another dry shampoo that you think I should try, then leave that product down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.